three, two, one. <laughs> We are finally doing the grand reopening of Fountain Creek Nature Center. It's been in the master plan for some time and about two years ago we began the planning and fundraising process and today we have come to completion with the expansion and the new exhibit package as well. This has been a, a great process to be able to expand on the Nature Center and offer more opportunities for our community and for our kids to be able to enjoy and learn about the importance of Fountain Creek behind us, wetlands, all of the, the natural environment, and really, I think, add a lot. And we have, we have made such great strides in terms of doing this expansion. We love it here, the kids love it. They have so much here to so many resources here for the kids and we've learned so much and we enjoy coming here and seeing all the wildlife. This is such an incredible, incredible opportunity for our local community with this center being expanded. People of all ages can come here. It's handicapped accessible. School children love it. You know, what better way to celebrate nature and Fountain's motto is pure Colorado and this is as pure Colorado as you can get. I think it's important for uh, both kids and adults to get out and enjoy the, the natural environment, to be able to get out and exercise and really develop an appreciation for nature, for our environment. Um, El Paso County really treasures our nature centers and our mini park system, our regional parks, and this is just one more opportunity for us to be able to utilize this. We've doubled the, the media room or the program room and we've more than doubled the exhibit room space and so we can accommodate now groups of 100, 150 um, school kids that can come here now. The nature center before was very nice, it was small. Um, I, I was visiting with the young man one day and he said, this is really cool, it's like a tree house and it kind of had that feel. Um, we still have the tree house but uh, it's just much bigger and, and much better at spreading people out. Some of the people who actually constructed the building had some surprises as they took down some rock walls and exposed some old uh, timbers and so forth. There were some snakes living in the walls. <laughs> or they found skeletons of snakes who had resided in the walls. And so we know that this nature center just attracts nature in all kinds of forms. Any citizen, regardless of their uh, ability to walk trails or not, can come in the Nature Center and come out here on the deck and get a sense of the five communities that are here in the park, the creek, the woods, the meadow, the marsh, and the pond, and get a sense of where they are and uh, walk the easy seven-tenths of a mile trail. And if not, they can explore our exhibits inside. And it's free to just visit the Nature Center. There's no cost. The greatest thing that we have down here is the people, particularly the naturalists, because I've seen a lot of naturalists in my 14 years, and I've been uniformly impressed with not only how good they are, but how nice they are to work with. And that's what, and there are docent volunteers. If it weren't for the docent volunteers, this wouldn't happen. I think it's well worth your time to get yourself and your kids out here. I think that there's nothing better than being out in nature and getting your kids out there. And the more you're out here, the more you'll learn and the more um, people you can impact. And you know, if we can get out here and have a good impact on our community and on the wildlife around here, it's gonna be here for our kids to enjoy as they grow up and bring their kids. Thank you to all the citizens and agencies that contributed dollars to make this happen because without that it wouldn't have happened and so this building truly is a gift to the community and belongs to the community.